Hey guys, Unknown Force again. Continuing on with step three here of our downgrade process. Um, I this is a regular Ubuntu uh, 1.11.1, 1 .1, I believe. Doesn't matter. Um, all that I've done is I I, I took the uh, WUBI. Um, at least I think it's WUBI, whatever it is, the uh, Windows uh, Ubuntu installer, and installed it right on top of the Windows 7 that I had. And you, in this, in the first two videos that I took using Windows uh, for the uh, version, uh, this is the same computer. So it's it, it's literally a dual boot. All I did was install it right over it. It it brought this up for me. Um, all I've done is copy up the uh, EMC recovery tool and the HBoot image, as you can see in these two files here. Um, Actually, this is a backup I was using before, but that's okay. We don't need that. Um, so those two files are there. That's all I've put on this at all. I haven't put any drivers on here. There's no nothing special at all. I haven't installed anything other than Ubuntu itself. Uh, and literally, you only need any, uh, just a, any Linux OS to do this. But uh, Ubuntu is obviously the easiest one to install and just let it let it do its thing. So first of all, we're going to bring up the terminal window. Um, and now I'll bring that over here. You can see, you can see it kind of. Um, that's better. All right. Um, now first, the the first command you're going to do, um, because you don't have root right now, you want to you want to be in a root mode, uh, so that every command you type in is 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 a root command. To do that, you type in sudo dash s or sudo space dash dash s and press enter. It'll ask for your password, so go ahead and give it that. And if you have a password set up at all. If you don't have a password, it probably shouldn't ask you, or... Uh, I don't know. I, I've always used a password, so... Anyways, the next part you'll have, uh, it'll say root at Ubuntu with a pound sign. That indicates you've got full root access to the system and everything, so any command you put in will be a root command at that point. So, the first command we're going to do um, since we've just copied these files over, we can't run them yet. That's kind of the way Linux works. It's kind of a security protocol. So we have to put in a chmod space 077, I'm sorry, 055, let me rephrase that. <laughs> chmod space 0755 space emmc underscore recover. Now, that might change depending on where you put it. I personally put mine in my home folder. So that's where they're located. So I can just type that in without having any, you know, putting any path in because it's it initially puts you in your home folder. But if you move it to another folder, you'll have to put in that folder name before the EMC recover. But either way, it's it's easiest just to drop it in the home folder and do it from here. So pressing enter on that uh, sets the permissions properly, and there shouldn't be any output. If there is output, um, either you've done something wrong, and it should tell you that either you know maybe it's a usage command you didn't type it in right something you know like that or you didn't give it the right path to the uh, UMC recover tool but again it should be no output that means it was successful now we can actually run that tool so to run the tool to run any kind of command in, in Linux you'll type in a dot and a forward slash first um, that tells it to run it out of this folder um, and then the, fo the, the file we're running obviously is UMC underscore recover and now our flags, we want to set the file to flash to, so we put dash dash, the word flash, space, and then I'll type HB because it starts with HBoot, but then instead of typing the rest out, I just hit the tab key, and it'll automatically populate the rest of that, as well as put a space in for me. And then I'll also type in dash dash partition, and the number 13. Um, 13 is, is the HBoot partition of the Evo 3D. Um, if you're watching this for another phone, um, I don't know what your partition number will be, but, um, you know, if, as long as you got an EMC device, this should probably work for you guys as well. But either way, um, we're, we're, we're working on the Evo 3D right now, so we're focused on that. Um, I've given it the HBoot 1.4 image that I included in all the tools. Um, and again, partition 13. Now I'll press enter on this. Um, it'll read off, obviously, this was, this tool was created by Fuses, which big thanks go to him because, there's, you know, without this we wouldn't have been able to get any of this. Um, and then I just added my own little line saying that I modified it for the improved device detection. Because before we were doing this, we had to have multiple windows and, and change the device letter and all kinds of crap like that, which we don't have to do anymore. Now, first thing it'll say is, you'll be flashing to partition 13, are you sure? If it does not say 13 and you put in 13, there's something wrong with this tool, and you need to get a you need to redownload it. Um, 
but it pretty much should work. I mean, uh, yeah, unless you got a real bad uh, downloading or internet connection or something, it would be real hard to screw that up. But at that point, it's asking you, are you sure you want to continue? And you should, all you have to do is press enter to continue. Again, it's going to tell you to verify it one more time, basically. It's just kind of a check just to make sure we're all, you got all the ducks in a row here. But it says here, uh, the image file to be flashed. It'll tell you what the image file you typed in. And, then, and those should match if for whatever reason they don't. Again, download it again and, and, re, and put it back and, and start over again here. But uh, it says hboot 1.4.nb0, which is what I told it to flash. Um, and then it says it's flashing a partition 13. Uh, and then it just says verify those those are correct and if everything's correct just press enter one more time now it's telling me uh, what happened after that command it says verifying device does not already exist what that does is check to make sure there isn't another 13 uh, on the system somewhere it goes through all the devices and says is there one already here we don't want to flash to a device that isn't your phone <laughs> so I made that check very clear so that it doesn't flash to something you might have plugged in um, and screw up one of your devices. Um, it also checks to make sure you didn't plug in the phone already, uh, which if you did, you w that's not the way to do it. You have to plug it in at this point where it says waiting for device. Now, uh, the next line says device not detected, and but in parentheses says this is good, which I put that in there just to you know make sure that when we were checking for that 13 device to make sure we weren't flashing to another device, that's what it's saying to you. That there isn't, isn't anything there, it's okay to proceed. Um, and then it, right here it's telling you you may now plug in your brick device while holding the volume down key. So I have my device, currently I have the back cover off, so I'll throw that back on. Um, there is no battery in the device right now. Uh, make sure there is no battery, there should not be a battery in there. Um, but I have my cord, it's plugged into the computer, I have my phone. I'm going to hold down the volume down key and plug in the phone here and we'll watch the output and it will say found the correct device, writing image file, all this stuff will pop up and mine personally, I've, I've had this happen every time it'll crash this screen so to speak, it's not really a crash it's, it's the USB kind of locking up I don't know if it's too many devices being added or what, but to get out of this screen you just press control delete and it'll ask you if you want to log out, you just hit no and hit cancel so it'll bring you back to your your main screen here but as you can see here it says found correct device and then it says writing the image file and then it kind of indicates what it's writing whatever but at the bottom it should say success if you get any other kind of output something went wrong um, and you and you, you just want to have to try it again or maybe the device wasn't bricked correctly so on and so forth but now that it says success I will take and put my battery back in my device here throw my cover back on and boot the device back up holding down the volume key or the volume down key and we have 1.4 so that's all there is to that step um, after this of course well right now I, I left the SD card in there which really shouldn't do because it, it's just going to sit here and check that all day and you don't want to flash that image again because it'll put the, the locked bootloader back on so again from here You'll pull your SD card, you will power device, you know, throw the battery back in, power it up into bootloader again, holding the volume down key, of course, um, and then uh, put it into fastboot and flash an RUU from a Windows device, or if you have one for the Linux or whatever, it, it shouldn't matter. Um, I'm working on a way to remove that step completely and just go straight into recovery and, and start flashing a custom ROM and then put it already in S off, but uh, that's not yet released. Um, I'm still working on that, but again, thanks for watching guys. That's all there is to it. So that's step three. You should be done now Thanks guys